Welcome and guys back. My name is Zenki from Digislots and today we talk about Cherrymon. It was a long time I put the video. Ramadan begins. Uh, I have some allergics and stuff like that. I was ill but right now I'm 100 full power for you guys up here and we talk about Cherrymon. It got a new starter deck. I went to event, uh, went second place because we got all 2-0-1 and it was like Okay, pretty random, but second place, second place, we got the first place Terriamon with the little crown for BT8 as well, got it in my collection, and we're talking about right now for the deck profile, but first, right, left, hit about the thumbs up button for more awesome content and subscribe, because we got a new giveaway, I will show you guys later if we got a higher stat to that, the 165075, I will reveal the new giveaway, and 1700, I will do the giveaway for you guys, and we have the winner for the giveaway for Digimon and uh, One Piece together for one, and the second place was only Digimon, and the next giveaway, I give something out for One Piece at the second place, because I have both quite extra guys people watching so thank you guys thank you to my sponsor magic match and br yu gi -Oh shop check it out and check out the channel subscription because it helps me a lot to do something and to do extra content for you guys that we can do together and let's go into this nice video Okay guys, we are right now at the giveaway, finally I can give something out. I do Digimon and One Piece and having a second place for only Digimon because Digimon is my main content and the first place is Digimon or One Piece. I will comment down below. There are more people in the giveaway because more people are commentating down below like Svetomir, like Shape of War, like Hyena, like Army Lulas and stuff like that as well as One Piece and I noticed that I want to say special thanks to you guys that you are commentating and we go now with the spin for the giveaway, the main giveaway and it is one of the fellows uh, answered a lot of time, Svetomir, uh, thank you very much for the comment and you won one cloth mat or one of the um, displays from the new set you can do uh, the new set bt16 i think it was no no this takes too long no bt15 i'm sorry bt16 is a little bit longer now we'll delete, delete this up because some people saying this is rigged <laughs> uh, i rigged this opening all the time and people don't win here sadly i'm sorry guys you have all the special rights but now as an ultimate cup giveaway there is some patches there's the ultimate cup um Head as well, um, a playmat from Digimon, a random one. I can show you guys. Maybe you know. Let's get the second plate. Maybe you know. And some booster stuff as well. There into here. There is some of um, nice tamer stuff in it here that you can win some nice promos. I did a little bit stuffy on you, and this I will give away out as well you need to cover the shipping costs for first and second place winner as well that you know need to notice but i can write it as you as well because sometimes i was wondering having an africa giveaway and this was like 30 euro and this nice bags wings silver eagle or silver eagle digimon yeah silver eagle one as well the nice uh ultimate guard thing and the other stuff as well Thank you guys as always for making this uh, alive. Um, yes, I will say we see you in the video. Peace out. Okay, guys, we are right now at the deck profile. As you guys saw, maybe on my YouTube thread, I got second place um, with this deck. It is pretty cool. I don't add up defix mon. I just want to show the basics of the deck. You can. For the future, you can say you have a lot of support coming up. Right in BT17, we got a lot more Gargam and the new Willis support coming out. I think this deck is really good for beginners. You have these nice, cute uh, sleeves that you got there. And I think this deck, you can pick up two decks, a little bit of support, and it's easy. You don't need to do it. So it's a budget version you can play. We play for Gamimon because um, this is one of the best eggs when attacking. We attack a lot. 
if you have a green tamer you draw one card and you want to search out for a green tamer in your mulligan because the main terriamon and willis is one of the best combos you got so we start first with the rookies we playing two of the terriamon from the ex2 when you play a green tamer you gain one memory and your turn when an opponent's digimon is suspended because we do a lot of things with suspending um we get a 2000 dp plus boost it's pretty good because sometimes over you want to run over your ace or something like that sometimes you miss some dp that's why he's really good and a target for double typhoon to play out then we playing multiple versions of sadly didn't have a second one but i got in the second tournament soon at sunday uh, terriamon uh, memory stuff blocking is really annoying in this meta right now and we want to stop your opponent as good as it can be for a floodgate to play then we playing four of the main terriamon um this one allows you one of the best rookies to have behind on your egg promote and this one allows you allows you to play a lotmon or a tamer by reduced cost by two you can play this lotmon if you want to with the alliance but i think it's not necessarily you don't need that because you're playing a control version and the next set we're getting um terriamon x what is pretty good and um rapidmon x for the deck really intense and then I play four of the X04, one of the best targets for myself for Double Typhoon or on play if you don't have something. You can search a two color card or one tamer with Henry Wrong among them, what is pretty cool, and return the rest to the bottom. And when Alliance spend one of your Digimon, you can dig evolve into that. Yes, you can then play a lot more, but it's only for the search here. I think this Wii one can cut through two times and one of the man block terriamons and then can play terriamon x if you want to later on but i will do a decklist as well if we're coming in the next meta and then we're going to the level fours we got three of the old rapid mom uh, armor perch uh, for um, your tamer to spend one of your opponent's digimon then minus five thousand on the suspended digimon is pretty good um it's an odd one you can play four if you want to but i think three is good enough because we're playing four of the golden new rapid mom blocker and armor perch so we're having blocker um for a new target got thousand dp more here and all turns when this digimon uh, becomes suspended so when you attack you can minus four thousand on one of your opponent's digimon and the opponent's security gets minus four thousand as well and you haven't inherited all of your while Digimon is suspended against all turns 1000 plus, what is pretty good, so it's a good upgrade to the old Robert Monster, both have the version to play in the deck. Then we got four of the Gargomon. Gargomon, you turn once per turn when this Digimon becomes suspended. Um, one of the Digimon gains Jimmy, so you can decide which one do you give Jimmy, and all turns while Digimon is suspended gets more plus 1000. It's pretty cool that we get a new Gargomon that says on the deletion we can play a Terrymon, so if you play that. Over that swing, grave on deletion effect can choose that and search again. It's pretty nice. So, like I told you guys, this they're getting a lot of support, and I think it's a pretty cool need, need up to pick on. You get this one from the starter deck too, so you need to get rid, uh, get your hand on one, and the rest is simply from the starter deck. The Terramon here as well as from the starter deck. Everything is here from the starter deck. Besides of, I don't know if you got this one from the starter, de starter deck. And this one I don't know but it's just simple cards you need to get it's not quite that expensive and you have like more versions of that coming up through what's pretty cool and you got on your events as well um, the booster pack that you can get to another piece or you can get the booster with the double typhoon stamp on it as well good now we're coming to the level fives we're only playing four, and that's the Rapid Mom from the Star Deck. Pretty amazing on play, and when you're evolving, did you evolve one? One of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if you have a green Tamer until the end of your opponent's turn, your opponent effects can delete this Digimon or return it to the deck or hand. What's pretty amazing, and it has a win con uh, worth the set control. Um, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle or trash the top card of the security, what's pretty good. It's sadly once per turn, it was multiple turns, it would be pretty good, but I think four of it it's enough. Then for our level sixes, we playing four of the Mega Gargomon Ace. Um, we don't play the other one. Um, there's another one you can play uh, from the EX meta as well. You can 
play the EX baseline, but um, I have the EX baseline here and I tried it. Um, you can play the EX baseline if you want to, but I think it's too linear to what we're going through with the deck. But um, you have here lines, you've got here lines, you have here blocker reboot that you can throw in your lot months if you want to. There is the reason when you play this version of it. And Mega Gagomon Ace, you can evolve over a Rapid Mom. So level 4 and level 5 are pretty targets for that, it's pretty good. It has blocker and reboot. So when you devolve and suspend two of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers, then two of the Digimon Tamers can unsuspend until they devolve until the turn. So you target two Tamers and then you target um, two of their Digimon that can be evolved or used. Um, and when you have an end of attack, you might unsuspend this Digimon, so you unsuspend it and then can block it. And since you're blocking, you have your alternate effects and this Digimon has higher boost than your opponents. And then uh, it's easy to clear that one and suspending other Digimons or they can't evolve. What's pretty amazing that can evolve this Metallic Drummon, then later on, like a basic similar effect. It's pretty amazing. It don't have an on play, but you need to evolve it. I think it's pretty cool. You need two starter decks for that because only two times it comes out at the normal deck. Then we're playing two quartz one, um, high end card, Wincom was the second and other decks. You stun the whole board, they can do nothing about it. It's pretty amazing. You can play hidden potential in the deck as well as a one off if you want to, but I think it's not necessary because you have your highest deck, you evolve free for your level six, and then can slam into this big one. Um, it's pretty nice because you have Memtamos as well and stuff. Um, then we're going through our Memtamer, we're playing two of the Henry Wong. As a Mem Tamer set us to free and one of your Digimon with Gargomon or a Rapid one in its name attack, you might suspend this Tamer and suspend one of your opponent's Digimon is pretty good. Then you got the effects and can do stuff again. Then we're playing Free Willers. I know guys, Free Willers, you say why not playing four decks really tight if you got or if you find a fourth slot, you can play it. This card is your main card because you can play it with your Terriamon. So as an example, you have back there your Terriamon with the main effect. You're promoting it up, you are at free. Then you use the effect play Willis for one because you can reduce the play cost and you can hatch new egg and can build up again. So you can swing with this one because you have a tamer on board, what is pretty good. And this tamer says as well when one of you just want to do off into Gargo or Rapidmon, you can suspend this and reduce the cost by one. So your Rapidmon only costs two, what makes this pretty amazing and pretty fast for a deck. I love that. So Willis is a really cool key card. And what we're playing as well are two of the new Hyper Spirit or Hyper Evolve. Uh, Henrong, this one says if your opponent has a Digimon, you gain one memory. Uh, side of your main phase, which is pretty cool. And by placing one Gargomon and Rum Rapidmon uh, from your trash under one of your Terriermon as a bottom Digimon source, um, you might Digimon with a Mega Gargomon, so you ace. Or if you're playing the EX one into that one. Or if you're playing... Um, Nothing else is a target. There are some more, but not necessarily. But you can evolve into Mega Gagumon from your hand um, for a cost of four, ignoring the requirements, and then it gains rush. is pretty cool. So, having that as an out for your opponent in some situation, it comes pretty handy. And then we're playing two of the giant missiles, which is to spend one of your opponent's Digimon, then return one of the suspended Digimon at the bottom of the deck, and one of your opponent's Digimon can unsuspend until the end of their turn. Pretty amazing stun card. Some people will help me hate me uh, free agility training and free double typhoon and um, you can cut the agility training and go for four but free free is for me enough and um, double typhoon says reveal all the top three cards of the deck at one card with a digimon and one tamer among them return the rest to the bottom of the deck and delay you might play one tamer or not one from your hand without the cost so you can play out the ex one or the main one or the the best targets are these two um floodgate or searcher for the deck but you're getting more combo potential in the next set coming out. Yeah, this was my Terriermon deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have anything as a Terriermon main, maybe, because I'm not, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And good luck on your Terriermon adventure. Bye. And at the end, shout out to memberships for champion highest rank, Eddie F. Wolf. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And always stay... Super!